have here 20 euros worth of diesel and we have here 20 euros worth of petrol. And you and I are going to drive a Toyota Aris and a Skoda Octavia. So the plan is that we're going to drive a certain distance, then we're going to swap, and then we're going to drive the cars until they run out of fuel. Whichever runs out of fuel first, we don't know. Yeah, it's just to clarify, so both tanks have been purged completely and we've agreed to drive as economically as possible. And who's driving what first? Should we flip a coin? I think we should. Call it. So, head, diesel, tails, hybrid? Tails, hybrid. Okay. Best of luck. Hello? Eddie? And how's your drive going? Good, good, good. I'm halfway down the red in empty. You're halfway down the red. I am... Um, I'm tipping red myself. I have... Nine, I have 84... Point five kilometres up now, but I think I have about 70 in the tank. Right. What have you optioned, Ed? I have yes, 83.5 kilometres. Um, we've done so far, and it's telling me that I have 66 kilometres to go in the tank. Myself and Eddie have just pulled over here to have a cup of coffee and to swap cars. So I was quite impressed with how the hybrid performed, especially in the city. As it stands, I think I've got about 63 kilometres left on the clock before I need a fuel tank. So it's all going to depend now on, I suppose, what the reserve on each car was to see who, who will get further. I would have thought the hybrid would have completely outshone the diesel in the city. And I thought the diesel would have outshone the hybrid more. In, with, with the longer country run and that doesn't seem to have been the case it seems to be quite quite neck and neck so we swapped cars i am now driving the octavia and we're driving down some nice little country roads i think we're somewhere just outside of arklo about 10 kilometers left in my tank it feels like to be honest that it's going to go for another 50 i'm quite confident that um, we're going to be able to go well past zero on this and that there is quite a bit of reserve in this tank Hi, Eddie, me again. <laughs> just, oh, yeah. just thought I'd update you to let you know that I am officially on zero. So I, I have officially oh. zero kilometers left in my tank. Wow. What's your car telling That's you right nothing. now? Absolutely nothing. Still the same three dashes. <laughs> but basically, I'm in minus zero land. How close is the end at this stage? How near are we? Yeah, it's a good question. What's well, your instinct? My instinct, I reckon I'm good for another 25 kilometres. That's my instinct. And still no sign of the Toyota Aris hybrid giving in. I think it's going on fumes at the moment. Could be midnight before we get finished with this. But so be it. <laughs> what are we going to do? I mean, I'm a hundred kilometres into the reserve. So when is an empty tank an empty tank? Well, it's a good question. long day and that was a really interesting experiment. It certainly was. Were you I surprised by the results? No, not really surprised, but would I have been surprised had the Aorus won? I probably wouldn't have been madly surprised either. 
Yeah, I'm kind of the same. I think I'm more surprised about how conservative the estimated fuel range was on both of the cars. <laughs> Absolutely. But that's probably a story for a different day. But at the end of the day, we wanted to answer a very simple question, which was, which would go further on 20 euros worth of fuel? And in this case, the diesel just dipped it. The diesel did it. It did. So I think it was a really, really worthwhile experience. It certainly will get people talking. Exactly. And like I said, it was, uh, it was just one test, one fun experiment, but I for one would definitely like to see more like it. So would I. Here's some more.